Sponsored by Salud Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salud Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We promote North Carolina craft beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to some of the great beers available across the state, maybe introduce you to a new brewer or to a new brewery, or just tell you something about the NC beer scene. Yep. We are pleased today to have uh, two beers we're going to drink out of the Appalachian Mountain Brewery in Boone. And these beers have been variously known as a couple different things. Now they're bottled, a can for the first time, and we picked up these. This is the, um, the Blonde which is also sometimes known as the Honey Badger Blonde. Formerly known as. Formerly known as, I don't guess it's going back to that. Nope. It may go to something else, but yeah. now it's called the A and B Blonde. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then the black cans are also, um, but now we just go back, they're the Porter out right. of A and B, and they were previously known as the uh, Black Gold Porter. That's right. So it says that A and B, they love beer. Not only do they love to drink it, they also love to talk and teach beer. Explain the brewing process and their humble opinions about the best and worst hops are standard conversation for these guys. They love converting the light lager drinkers into hoppy beer drinkers one IBU at a time. Beyond beer, they believe in living healthy and local lifestyles. They're growing their own food in the garden and being energy efficient minded, they try to stay local. These folks have a commitment to their community and it shows in almost everything they do. Oh yeah. So, um, <laughs> He he screwed me up. We're doing it. I was reading. I was going to read the blonde first, and he's pouring the black. Oh wow! So I'm going to jump down. So uh, the porter, also known as I said, is the black gold porter. If you've heard of it before, or maybe you had it, it's pouring a beautiful beer. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, better one than I did. Um, they describe it as this A and B flagship is the legend in the high country. This brown porter is overflowing, and yours almost was, <laughs> yeah. with dark aroma <laughs> and has a cream persistent tan head. And that's exactly there it right. Does. It says delve deeper, which means drink, and you will find a perfect balance between traditional English hops and the complex malt flavors with a smooth balance between chocolate and coffee. Yeah, that's what so I'm talking about. So this is right down our line here. That's what I like. So what's the aroma? It is a beautiful beer, it's very and, dark. And, and we did discuss this previously. We've done the black gold. Oh yes, before. we did, we did it. We had a aggressive growl we brought home. We brought a growl. So now it's in can, so it's like a wholly different thing. Wait, wait, and plus, now you, I wanted it again. Now you said that, implying that it's not different, but you know sometimes draft and cans are in fact, and you, well, you beer drinkers know, you can be used to something on draft at a place, right. go get it in the can. We hope it's as good as it was on draft, but it could be different. Well, the guys at AMB, they have so much passion for beer. I have faith. Well, I can't, I don't believe it's gonna be any worse. Right, it can't it's be. It's got a coffee aroma. Yeah, good it's coffee. Cool, it's cool, it's cool. Not a lot of uh, chocolate notes coming through no, in the aroma. No, just coffee. <laughs> you got coffee, yes, all right. Mm -hmm. mm. But what chocolate notes, it doesn't have any oh. aroma. It yeah. certainly has in the taste. Absolutely, and it's still super smooth. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to drink. Um, and so creamy. That head mm -hmm. is a very good predictor of how smooth that beer is going to be. That head that laces like his does on the glass and really stands look, up look at, at you. See, look at that. That tells you this is going to be a creamy, yep. medium body yep. beer. Yep. And this, this is just... It's wonderful. I don't actually remember how good it was or what we said about it before, but this is great. Oh, this, it's wonderful. I mean, and we're hoping that now that they're into the canning, distribution will get bigger. Yeah. I, I hope. More people need to drink A and B beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know where we're going to say this. We'll say it now. They also look to have a cider program in the future. They make a cider or two now. Oh yeah. And we're going to start getting more into cider. We've got our new cider map up on the website already. So That's check right. that out if you get a chance. But we're also going to start drinking some ciders and talking about them in these uh, weekly beers. Yeah, and that's going to be a whole different world. But <laughs> that's right. But these guys are on the forefront of that movement too. That's right. So now, mm. clean now, my palate. Clean my palate. So this is the blonde. Uh, as I said, sometimes known as the Honey Badger Blonde. It's described by A and B, uh, Appalachian Mountain Brewery, as an ode to the American blonde. This award-winning light-bodied ale is the beer for all seasons. 
The honey badger is brewed with orange zest to add additional citrus notes to complement the light hop aroma. The clean and crisp mouthfeel is followed by just a hint of sweetness from local North Carolina wildflower honey. Sweet. While best enjoyed by a cool mountain river in the summer, this blonde is delicious no matter where, no matter when. That's, well, we're on the wind. <laughs> so uh, we're not quite by the river in the summer, but it's gonna go down good. And again, it's just the presentation on this beer. Look at the effervescence. Yeah. And, and, and the it's, light is coming. It's just, and it's, it's like, Seriously clear. I mean, it is yeah, like it really so impressively right. clear. It's got the golden color, but I can see straight through it with razor sharp vision. I mean, it's unbelievable. It is. It's just great. Not a lot of room in this beer. All, no. Not a lot of notes at all. And mm. you wouldn't really expect that, except that unless you got a little bit of citrus, which I don't right. have to get. Oh, but you get it in the taste. And oh, it's but it's that, creamy. That, yes, that prickly <laughs> effervescence and the, the uh, smoothness and the balance. But it's creamy. Yes, it's not like a carbonated kind of. Well, a, it's not like a. Uh, it's not like a straight pale ale. I mean, it, it's a blonde, but it has that extra. Uh, it, it, it's a body. It's got a body yeah, to it, it, it that you wouldn't expect. It, for, it's like it, the creaminess is really impressive. Oftentimes you think of drinking a coast. It looks like a coast looks like this sometimes. Yes. Uh, but this is a whole different experience. Yes, especially when you say Kirsch. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody says that except Dave. But anyway, the German way. The, the right way. The German way. <laughs> nobody knows that. So this we'll, is. We'll, oh wow. I mean, this is really. I'd go nuts over this. I mean. You talk about a lawnmower beer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean they're not granted. It's right now, presently, middle of the winter, but it, this is super refreshing. Mm -hmm. But I can't imagine it. You know, you're sweating your butt off in the summer, and you have one of these waiting for you. It's called get the lawn done real fast. So you can have. That's right, because you know what's waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was wow. thinking about how sessionable this beer is. And how sessionable is this? I, well, I didn't quite see the ABV popping out at me. It must be somewhere here. Oh, wow. Invest in A&B Hops. A&B is a publicly traded company. Oh, brewery. yeah. That's one of the, that's there one you of the go. things we should have said. Get their stock. We should have said, too. They're one of the few breweries that's going that way. Uh, IBUs of 19. Yeah. Oh, ABV 4.7. Oh, session. So, yeah. A little so, high for some sessions, but not, not, not for not, a real drinker. Not high enough. No. I don't, want to, I don't want to say real enough. It's good enough. It's less than 5%. So that makes it, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A and B has done two great beers um, in the can. Oh, two. I would say it, I love their beers. Yeah, they do great things. But but everything they do is not in cans and everything they do is but, not widely available. They were bottling some stuff and for hopefully, a while. Hopefully it will be. Yeah, you know, we'd just love to see people in the eastern part of the state. And be able to enjoy Piedmont. these beers. Yep. Because these guys are, are really about beer and they came out of the uh, program at Appalachian State. Yep, yep. So they're educated in beer mm -hmm. and by practice and experience, they know beer and they love beer and they love talking about beer. And, and that's the kind of guys you want to see do well in the beer business. Plus, I mean, not only are they going to have the cidery, but they also have the food truck, which makes it a brew pub because the food truck is right behind a brewery. Yes. And you get great food from that truck. And they own the food truck. That's and they the own the food it's truck. It's their own food it's truck. It's their own. So, so, I mean, it sometimes does go other places, but they know when it's there. That That's right. Food. So, perks all over. When you're in Boone, make Gotta sure you look up the guys at Appalachian Mountain Brewery. That's right. Uh, and when you see the beer anywhere around, pick up a uh, four pack. These comes in four packs. Yep. Um, or if you see a bottle or a draft product. Make sure you experience what they're doing at Appalachian Mountain. That's right. This is David Glenn, NC Beer Guys. Until next time, I'm reminding you to drink local, mm -hmm. drink local and boom, uh, and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.